No. Y'all want to focus on love and union. Love and union. Not death. But union. See, they say, till death do us part. But, I don't really like it. It should be, if you're going to say it correctly, till death do us a part. See, that's the belief that you're not really yourself. You're somebody else when you join the union. You know, you can't lose your own individuality. While then, you lose yourself. And I think that's what happens in a lot of marriages. Love and loss. Love. Love of yourself. Love for somebody else. A loss. Because the way a mechanism works. At the same time you're loving somebody else, you're losing yourself. You see, you can't properly love somebody the way you love yourself. Because only you can understand the love you provide to yourself. So in order to love somebody, you have to lose something about yourself. And the idea in a union is two people trade off. One person loses something they love about themselves, and the other person simultaneously lose something they love about themselves. But see, the way the union's been going, only one side has been losing, the other side hasn't conceded anything. So, we're in a protracted war between one side feeling resentful that they've lost something, and the other side hasn't sacrificed anything. And no union can stand or survive if there's no sacrifice of an equitable amount equal amongst the parts. Love and loss. That's episode zero of love and loss. The love and union. See, you lose out when you don't sacrifice.